Hi, so I've been doing pretty much what everybody does, and that is finding myself a lump of silicon and winding a coil around it and seeing how we go. And I was reading around a little bit, and apparently these are pretty awesome. It is a powdered iron um, toroid, really, and it was suggested to try winding a coil around that because it worked better. Now, you know, anything that's supposed to work better, you've got to give it a go, haven't you? So I made this little plastic former, and the toroid fits on there, then the other side goes on and I can wind a coil on the toroid. It's exactly what I'm going to do. So there's the coil finished. So we've got our iron powder core with our coil around the engine. It's um, arranged as electromagnet. I've stuck a bit of power on it. It's got 12 volts, got a switch. If I pop that down and I turn it on, it draws 1.38 um, amps at 12 volts and it can't pick its own weight up using this bit of iron. Now let's try magnetic assist. I've got a couple of ceramic ring magnets here. Stick them on. Again, it can't pick itself up, so let's give a bit of power to it. We're now drawing 1.36 and sure enough. So we draw the same ampage, but with a magnetic assist, we can actually get that to be stronger. And that's the idea of magnetic assist. So that coil arrangement actually was really easy to make, much easier than using the laminate steel and still has the same effect. Obviously what we're gonna to have to do is investigate that a little bit further to see how coils like that would fit in a reluctance motor. But the coil uh, design, I think is very interesting. So I thought I would share it with you because it was so easy to make. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.